Hi, this is Kubolt and today I'll show you how to make a two pose stance animation controller for Longsword Animset Pro so you can swing your sword from left to right and the characters will stay in that pose and continue walking either with pose either right foot forward or left foot forward. Uh, so this this will be very simple and uh, I hope quick. Uh, first let's make a animation controller. So I have Playmaker which will we will use this for making the controller uh, and if you can code and prefer code to Playmaker you will uh, you probably will be able to uh, convert what I'm doing here to Playmaker but if you can't code this is a perfect situation for you and also Playmaker is super fast with controllers so uh, let's do this first let's make a, a animation controller create animation controller and this will be our controller and we want two stances to be in this controller so let's create the first one new blend tree and let's call it uh, right pose and let's go inside uh, yeah. uh, we will need two parameters at first oh, sorry not trigger float Float, let's call the first one horizontal and the other one vertical, just like the input axis. This will be uh, freeform directional, and first horizontal and vertical. And let's drop our animations here. We'll need five, you can have as many as you want but let's just do five walking directions for now let's go to longsword animation pro animations and let's find the uh, movement yeah here's walks so sorry first we'll have to have an idle and then walks so walk backward walk forward walk left and right and this is vertical this is horizontal so walk forward is one for vertical so up walk left uh, walk backward is minus one and zero horizontal uh, walk right is one and zero and this is minus one and zero uh, let's see how it looks here Yeah, the character is walking. Uh, so this is this is already good, and this is walking on the right side. the 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 body faces the right side. Now, let's copy this. Control C, Control V, and let's make a left pose. I'll just switch those. Um, okay, so let's go inside and. Let's replace those animations with the left pose animations, which are in the update that released recently. Let's find walking animations. Yes. So that's walk forward, walk backward, walk left, walk right, and idle. See, the character is now facing left side. Let's see if everything is okay. Yes. Cool. So, those are our uh, two stances. And uh, let's also turn on IK on the feet. IK pass here and IK pass. And let's click this and turn on foot IK. This way the feet will 
uh, retarget using IK humanoid and uh, will slide less uh, when blending animations. Uh, so now uh, let's let's test if our character will walk. Um, so we'll need to make a simple controller for now. Uh, let's go to Long Animates Pro prefabs and let's drop our vampire character model here. It's included in the pack. Let's replace the controller with our new newly made controller. And here, here we have our camera. Let's show him a little better. And let's make uh, some uh, object that he can walk on. For example, plane. Let's zero it out. And maybe make it a little bit larger. Um, so, right now, our character will not walk, but he will stand in idle. And this is exactly this pose. Uh, now the controller will change those parameter parameters horizontal and vertical uh, and this will allow to blend to walking animations so let's go to let's select our vampire and go to playmaker and let's create a new state machine and let's call it walking uh, so what we need to do is to um, transfer the input from the keyboard to the animator to change those. So we'll go to input in action browser of Playmaker, go to input and let's get first axis. Uh, horizontal and let's create a new variable horizontal, right? And let's get the second axis vertical and vertical okay uh, I'm not inventing this horizontal and vertical those are actually in here when you go to uh, project settings and you go to input axis see horizontal vertical so basically if I call it anything else than horizontal for example I can call it Bob then I would have to write here Bob and it will work exactly the same so uh, those are your input axes so see this horizontal is mapped to left and to right key on the keyboard basically or uh, A and D uh, so it all makes sense so we got our uh, axes uh, here and those are here and now so we we got our axis now we have to transfer it to the animator so we go to animator and set animator float and let's just copy this here and value is this so this is this and changes this and this is this <laughs> um, and let's make a little damp time so a little bit of delay and let's let's copy this here and the value of course vertical and damp time so this is our basic controller those four actions let's save it and let's see if our character will walk when I press the keys on the keyboard yeah works so that's how easy Playmaker is. Now, what we want is to our character be able to swing his sword from left to right and change to those different poses. So let's add some attack animations in the update. Uh, so let's let's use this combo of four four hits. First. second third and fourth so let's go first and this is a swing as we see from 
right pose to the left pose. So we start with right pose and we'll need to set a trigger parameter so it launches the attack. So let's go to plus trigger. Let's call it attack. So basically let's make a transition. If I press attack then this happens. I don't want to set time. I want any any. If you have this uh, checked, then uh, the attack will happen um, only if uh, the time reaches this point. But I don't want it. I want uh, the attack to happen whenever I press the key. So, boom, attacks, right? And since it goes from left to right then this will transfer to the left pose when the animation is finished. So, boom! And now I want this checked because when the animation reaches this point I want it to blend to left pose. So this is supposed to be checked, right? Uh, and then I want... So basically when I press attack this will happen, animations will play out and end in left pose. Now I want another attack to happen. So here, here is the another attack. And when I press attack again, when I'm playing this animation, so again, attack, I want this animation to transfer to this animation. And it, sh it, it should look like this in game, right? we can do it a little faster. So here and here. See? Uh, and when I press attack for the third time I want it to happen again and for the fourth time I want it to happen again. So let's set those parameters. When I press attack this happens, right? Oh, without this. I don't want this. Because whenever I press the attack, I want the next attack to happen. And again, without this, when I press attack, another animation should play out, right? So, but when I don't press attack, I want this animation to go to opposite pose, right? Because boom, and it's in right pose. So I want this pose and when this finishes I want to go to this pose, boom. And when this finishes, I want to go to this pose. Right? Now there's some strange stuff. Let the animation finish. All right. So I want those animations also have feet IK and now we'll have to add a functionality to our controller that controls the attacks. So let's go to Playmaker and Action. Select our vampire. So when we want to attack to happen, when we press attack, so we go to input get button down. So this will this plays out every frame and when I get button down, fire one. So for example mouse click right now. I want to send new event. Let's create it to attack. And let's add it here to attack. And let's create a new state and this will be our attack. Maybe attack 
begin and we want to send the animator command to attack so set animation trigger this is this trigger it's called attack so attack set animation trigger attack and let's wait a little bit so let's go to uh, time 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 and wait a little bit so the attack could start happening let's go like zero maybe no that's too short zero thir zero thirty five uh, of a second and go to finish so it will start attacking let it the attack happen for 0 40, uh, 35 seconds and then it will go to our question do we want to attack another another time and yes so let's go to walking and let's copy get button down so after 0 35 second the next the, we will be asked again if we want to attack let's go wait let's copy this wait here and let's let's go to zero i don't know seven so for example we will have this much time to press another attack maybe not seven maybe maybe zero five uh, and if we don't press another attack this will finish and go back to walking. If we do press another time, then send event to attack. So let's make a transition to attack and it will attack again. Um, so this should work right now. I'll save it and let's see. Game, play. Boom. And we see that's left side. Ah one thing i forgot uh when we are in the left pose we also want to attack so let's make the the left pose attack and start not from the first combo that starts with the right pose but from the second animation of combo uh, so let's if i am here and i press attack i want to go to the second uh hit right like this yeah, so this will of course happen when I press attack and this will be unchecked because we want to attack whenever. Now let's save it and play and see. Yeah, works. Now let's try the combos. Yeah, works, works very good.